Uh, met in high school. Uh, it was my uh, uh, fall homecoming actually and I did not have a date and one of my friends, uh, Josh, uh, his girlfriend at the time, Katie, um, actually hooked us up on a blind date. So we attended homecoming, we had never met each other and so we sort of just uh, met each other and went to uh, a homecoming date and sort of hit it off after that. And Josh is actually one of our groomsmen and Katie is my maid of honor. That's really exciting. We stayed friends for all this time, but it worked out. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Abby hates it when I bite my nails. I am a nail biter. Yeah, I do hate that. And I, she absolutely hates it. However, she loves to make lists, and I hate lists. I absolutely hate We them. took the Myers-Briggs test in college, and we are exact opposites. Which is really 100% opposites. <laughs> Every category. I guess opposites do attract. What's your personality? He is the ISTJ, the person who's the extrovert, spontaneous, doesn't really like to think logical about things, just very more in like emotions and take it easy kind of thing. I'm a very logical person, more introverted. List maker. I make lists. I love to plan. I'm not very spontaneous. That's why it's funny that we met because I didn't want to go on a blind date with him because I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> So my sister-in-law convinced me that it would be fun, and I had nothing to lose, so. Because I was spontaneous that one time we met, now we're married. The first time we met, he drove from Keene, George, Virginia, which is like 45 minutes from Waldorf, to come to my field hockey game and watch me play. So I was really nervous. I tried not to look at him when he was sitting over there at all. And I 
could ask my friends if it was cute or not. <laughs> and they told me yes. Myself and my roommates actually, we uh, I built like a, a sign and it uh, it lit up and it said uh, "Marry me on it" and uh, it was actually powered through a battery generator and so we had it at night at the mall and so I had made up an excuse that uh, I needed to give a book back to a classmate because he'd let me borrow it. And I was like, all right, sweet, then I'll just stay in the car and you can run in. He's like, no, we need to park somewhere. Yeah. At this point, I'm kind of like, well, that just doesn't make any sense being the boss of the person. <laughs> Then he was like, actually, my friend said he's in the mall, so we're just going to meet him there. So I still was really confused, and I, had, I made sure he grabbed a notebook before he walked out of the car to see if he was kidding or not. And we're walking down the mall, and I didn't see anything at all. It was pitch black. All I saw was some Keldon lights and the normal lights on the mall. And then right in front of McKeldin, he dropped down, and he said he had to tie his shoe. As soon as he dropped down, the lights came on, and I just started crying. It was awesome. And then he like pulled out the ring and I, I couldn't see it, but I was like, yes, of course. It was, it was awesome. Yeah, I loved it. Definitely. It was great. <laughs> is it the look in your eyes or is it this dancing juice? Who cares, baby? I think I want to marry you. Well, I know this little chapel on the boulevard we can go. Trash got a pocket full of cash, we can blow shots of patrol, and it's on, girl. Don't say no, 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 no. Just say yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll go, 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 go. If you're ready, like I'm ready, cause it's a beautiful night. I think I want to 